got to move this container forward into the corner here. And we, last episode, we broke the concrete, pulled it out, and we reconcreted it uh, with the pulling point on the rocks so this doesn't slip out. We're trying to spread the weight here, like, so it's not all just on the pulling point. So for the pulling point, we have four bags of concrete, uh, massive welds, and a massive eye bolt there. 20 mil threaded rod. And 20 mil threaded rod. Bateman's Bay baseball team. Represent. Don't say baseball. <laughs> Only losers play that. Because we've got a bit of diagonal pull here, I've got my rolling logs slightly offset, so I'll have to keep putting them back in. As concrete at Jack pulls, I'm just going to monitor this pulling point. Hopefully, it'll settle. It is moving though, hopefully it's not just ripping out of the ground. So as we pulled those rocks were slipping so I just pegged them down into the virgin ground and it seemed to work quite well. And our rolling logs are a little bit diagonal because we've got to pull this container in. It's got to go about half a metre back and two and a half metres forward. So I think we're on the right trajectory. So pump it up concrete jack. All right, all these bits I've sped up are just sped up by eight. So it was a reasonably quick process. I probably spent three or four two-hour sessions moving it. Probably had to move it about 10 to 15 metres. The downhill sections in the backyard, I had to put a car on one end and a car on the other end so it didn't get away from me. So basically the car on the uphill side had the uh, two-ton come along as a brake and the car being used as a pulling point for the downhill, had the one tonner just to pull it down the hill. I'm out of shackles, so I'm just gonna use this come along just to get the distance. I've just used this come along here just to get a bit of extra length. All right, let's go for another roll. So one of our logs is just about to come off here. So I'll just jack this up, reposition it. This is another illegal expedition. This is perfectly fine. This is an 1800 kilo trolley jack. Lifting three uh This container three tons. Wall weighs 2.24, but it's only lifting one quarter of the container, or maybe closer to a third, so it does it easily. So it's lifting one half of the container, everyone. Okay, All right, so those are both reset. Too many ready, man. All right, let's continue the pull. I've reset the logs. All right, now it's rolling beautiful. Beautiful. So for this last three meters in towards the corner, there was nothing to pull off, so I just. Uh, concreted in a pulling point just into the back corner of the backyard and we had a little bit of drama when we pulled it out but we reconcreted it and we're able to get that last bit of movement to get it exactly where we wanted it and for the last hundred mils I swapped to the smaller come along just so I could get every millimeter out of it so using that trolley jack to just reposition the logs you're able to get any movement you wanted out of the container you could hook up from a different corner if you wanted to pull it a bit sideways you could use the trolley jack to just reposition the logs on a different angle and I was surprised how easily it was able to pull off the cars car my car has a really good electronic handbrake so you could pull off that no worries car didn't even move it worked very well there's the container it's in place had a little mishap on the jack I actually didn't want to come this close to this end fence but it's pretty good like that happy with that just giving it a clean out the backs leveled off I was just hosing it out and then I'll pick the front up put some concrete under it so it's nice and level and that is the end of the job Would have been a lot easier to just rent a tally handler for an hour, but no companies were prepared to do that and supply an operator. So we had to do it the manual way, the hard way.